Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can host uh, your own domain's email with Zoho for free. So let's say, for example, uh, let's say you own the domain example.com and then you could have your name at example.com to uh, to host. So it's a very useful thing to have. So with uh, Zoho.com, you can do this, and that's why I'm going to show you how to do this in this tutorial. And here are some pros and cons of using a free Zoho account to, to host domain email. First is some people think an email uh, looks more professional if it's, for example, your name at example.com, as opposed to a Gmail or Outlook or other uh, service email address. And currently, the cons would be the free version of Zoho doesn't allow you to use POP or IMAP or use email forwarding. But if you want to have something like your name at example.com and you want it for free, this is a great way to get started. Okay, some assumptions are that you have your domain on Cloudflare. If you don't have your domain on Cloudflare, you can watch the video I made called Cloudflare Setup Guide for Beginners uh, with this thumbnail. And also, if you only want to forward emails, you could just watch my video titled Cloudflare Email Routing Setup, and that's the thumbnail. But assuming that you want to actually host on a, a proper service like Zoho, this is uh, the video is uh, this video is for you. So here are the, the basic steps. So first, you're going to make a free account at Zoho. At uh, This is an example link you could go to. And then you're going to follow Zoho's instructions for set up, sending up the DNS records. And we'll do this with Cloudflare. And then you're going to set up the DNS records. And then lastly, you're going to test the DNS records and then test sending and uh, receiving emails. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to first go to this link. You can also go to the link zoho.com slash mail. And you can see here there's, uh, it looks like this. And you can set up a business email. But honestly, I recommend we go to pricing. This link here, pricing. And you'll see, uh, okay, the paid version is like that. But we can just go to the free version forever and go to sign up now. I think this is one of the easiest ways to do it. So that's how I recommend how you do it. Sign up now. And what you're going to do is put your name, your email address or mobile number, and then a password, and then you're going to agree. And I'm going to do that right now, and I'll come back when I'm done. So I just made a new account, and this is what it looks like. So I, I also had to receive a, a an OTP, a one-time password. So... What we're going to do here is you're going to click on add an existing domain. So add now. And I don't know if I've previously made, uh, for example, eShop.com. If I put it on Zoho and if I have, I've lost access to that account. So I'll just use a different domain if I don't have that. Let's try this out here. Example, eShop.com. And again, I don't remember if I have this on Zoho already. And we also have to fill out the industry type. And let's just say I'm IT. Okay, add now. Okay, so thankfully I don't already have, I didn't already have example eShop.com on here. So I can do the tutorial with this. So what you're going to do is go to proceed with domain, uh, proceed to domain verification. So you're going to prove you own the domain. And uh, it says, prove your domain ownership by DNS authentication. So I recommend you do configure manually. And I'll show you how to do that in Cloudflare. Okay, so assuming that you're logged into cloudflare.com, uh, pick the domain that you're using. In my case, it's example eShop.com. And then first, what we're going to do is go to DNS. And uh, we can ignore the other DNS records for now. 
what it wants us to do is I'm going to close all these links now it wants us to make a txt record and it says uh, to have the at symbol or leave it blank so this the first step is to make a txt record and this is just to verify that you own the domain Zoho wants to make sure that you actually own the domain so in Cloudflare what you're going to do is go to add record and for the type you're going to look for txt and we'll just use at uh, that means the root and then we're going to copy the txt value that it told us so we copied it I'm going to put this here and then you're going to save and it might take a few moments for Cloudflare to update but usually Cloudflare is very quick alright let's go back to Zoho now what you're going to do is click on verify txt record and it says you have now verified your domain ownership and uh, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make a super administrator account so you're going to make the first um, basically the first account and I'll, I'll just call this first account and uh, so it'll be first account at example eshop.com okay so you're going to click on create so again this is your super administrator you can change the actual email address later but I'm just going to use this as the example so first account I'll call it first account so this is going to be the super administrator first account at example eshop.com and again I can change this later if I want to change the super administrator I can change uh, later okay so let's continue so it is now created and you can also set up users so for example let's call uh, let's make a second user second user and I'll just say second user at example eShop.com and this is not the administrator so you're gonna make a password by default it, it has the force user to change password on first login usually I don't do that so I'm gonna uh, make this here okay now I'm going to add and by the way you didn't actually need to make another user I'm just giving you an example here um, so let's continue here with these steps so I've made an account made one this is the super user or the admin account and then this is yet just another account and let's go to proceed to set up groups at the bottom here you don't actually have to have groups I'm gonna skip this because I never use groups and I use Zoho to host a lot of my domain emails okay we're gonna click on proceed to DNS mapping and it says automatic DNS mapping point your dom um, domains MX records and configure SPF and DKIM records okay I'm not gonna click on login to my DNS I don't like that idea so I'm gonna click on configure manually and we're gonna do this in Cloudflare so the main records we need to know about are MX and SPF and also DKIM is very useful to have but technically MX is just are the records for receiving emails and SPF and DKIM are for sending emails so uh, I don't want to go too much in detail about that I just want to, to that's what MX and MX is just for receiving emails and then SPF and DKIM are for sending emails okay let's click on configure manually okay so it gave us the MX records the SPF record and the DKIM record and I'm going to show you doing this in the uh, Cloudflare so I'll go back in a moment so first what we need to do is we see here um, in email under uh, in Cloudflare I have email routing actually set up so what I need to do is actually 
go to settings and then click on here disabling this is assuming you have email forwarding set up in Cloudflare if you don't you can skip this step it'll click on delete and disable so delete records so it's deleting the SPF for Cloudflare and the DKIM for Cloudflare and these three MX records okay so they are now disabled and let's go back to DNS so notice here we just have the TXT and the A record. So we're going to add three MX records, one SPF record, and then one DKM record. So let's go back here. So I'll show you the first MX record. So the first MX record, it, we're going to have the host as at, and then the value is mx.zoho.com, and the priority is 10. So I'm going to go add record, and then go to MX, and you're going to choose at, and then the mail server is mx.zoho.com and this is important it says the priority is 10 so we'll do that and then I'm going to save and now I'll add the two diff the the two additional mx records okay so I've now added three mx records they're just based on here mx.zoho mx2 mx3 and they have different priorities 10 20 50 and I did that in here and this is important the spf record so click on view my SPF and what we're going to do is uh, copy this and we're going to make a TXT record with just this. So go add record TXT and then we're going to add that. Okay now we add the DKIM record. So this is important so you're going to add a TXT and this is the host we're no longer using at and then this is the value so let's copy the host add a txt and we're going to use at and then actually the value is this and then we're going to copy this to put here so the host is this so copy it just like that and then this is the value and save it just like that Okay, so I've now added three MX records and then an SPF record and then a DKIM record. And then you're going to click on verify all records. So all the records have been verified successfully. That's fantastic. And then now it should be all done. Now we can test sending out emails. So what we're going to do is you're actually going to just go to mail.zoho.com. And let's test sending out one email. Okay, so your first time is going to look like this. And you'll get a default email. And now I'm going to send out a new email. This is a temporary email. I'm just going to send a temporary email. So you'll go to new mail and then you'll put the uh, send to and you can say this is a test test sending from Zoho domain and note that this is coming from first account at example eshop.com and let's send it fantastic okay after a few moments it received the email so that's fantastic and then I also recommend sending an email from another account to your domain just to test it so let's we'll send it a uh, first account at example eShop.com I'll send it a test one okay I've now sent a test email from my Outlook account and it works so fantastic so I sent an email to first account at example eShop.com and that worked so this is pretty much it for the tutorial and the last thing is I would recommend that you also go visit some sites to verify the MX records are correct and this is an example site you can test the MX records and you can also test other ones like SPF and DKIM. Okay I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you like this video I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe or follow this channel and uh, like the video. Thank you and see you in the next one.